The crew too. No PvP. Listen, we have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. So as many of you are aware, Ubisoft Ivory Tower have actually just finished with a stream on their YouTube channel, just going through the first initial phases of the beta that's going live tomorrow for the crew too. Now I actually sat there watching the whole event and towards the end of the event, they were asked various questions. In fact, they openly decided to take what they were calling a short Q and A session, basically to address things that have been seen as concerns from the community. So things such as the logical reason as to why the reflections in the side mirrors don't work correctly, which is obviously due to the amount of processing power needed to pull off such a feat in a vast open world. They also answered questions around things like cops. People were asking, are there gonna be cops in the game? And quite categorically, the answer was no, because it doesn't suit. It's not in keeping with the theme upon which they're going for, which again, makes sense. But nevertheless, they were happy to answer what was considered to be quite controversial topics. And that is exactly what you want. You want these big publishers, these big development companies to just front up and be open and be honest so that you know exactly what you're getting into before you go and spend your money. The problem is though, there was one question that was getting asked over and over again because basically there was a live chat system and the feed was bombarded with people asking about pvp and for some reason the question wasn't answered in fact it almost seems as if it was just ignored those of you who are regulars on my channel will know that i recently put out a video in which i explained was a showcase of pvp albeit as part of a cooperative mission let me tell you the story behind that video myself and all the other content creators who were at the event were actually sitting in front of our stations just capturing as much footage as possible when one of the members of the development team, so one of the members of the Ivory Tower development team was basically really, really enthusiastic and really positive and was saying how they want to get us into what they called, and I quote, multiplayer and PvP races. So after about an hour or so, we took them up on the offer and we accepted the invitational requests that were popping up on our screen, which then took us into a variety of different races. Now, the race that I posted was one of about four races that we did that day. Now, three of those races were done on top totally different tracks that I've not seen anybody post on YouTube so far. The only reason why I didn't post the footage was because the footage just didn't come out too good from my end. But the important thing is those three races were races that I've not actually seen as part of the story so far. Obviously, I've not completed the game because I've not even played a full version of the game yet. But I have played, I believe it's two separate builds. So barring the actual race that I uploaded, out of the four races we did that day, the other three I was under the presumption were just generic tracks, generic circuits kits that was selected by the admin in charge of the session now if you played the crew one what you'll know is that when you go into a pvp session there's this lobby system that you go into first where you and all of your human opponent based cars are lined up and you have the opportunity to vote as to which um event you want to do this didn't happen when i was at the event but the thing is is because this was an early version of the game that we played a version of the game that was before the even beta build that you guys are going to be playing tomorrow you have to accept that it's not representative of the final product and that's what was going through my mindset whilst I was sitting there waiting for the races to load up. So if you add that to the fact that you verbally told me that we're playing a multiplayer slash PvP portion of the game, I'm under the impression that that's exactly what we're doing. I've got no reason to think otherwise. Hence me putting out the video and labeling it as a PvP demonstration. Now there was a small group of people who actually came to me and said to me that no, that's not the PvP, that's not PvP. But obviously based on the information I had been given and told directly, directly from obviously the developer in charge who was getting us to play the quote-unquote PvP multiplayer, I'm obviously going to take that word over anyone else's because it's coming straight from the horse's mouth. Now, here's the thing. I already know that people have started putting videos out on this. I know um, straight up Hippo, shout out to Cam. He's already put a video out on this. And I saw another YouTuber, I can't even remember the other guy's name. Shout out to you though, you know who you are. Another guy put out a video as well. Now, me personally, I decided to hold back for a little bit because I just wanted to speak to Ivory Tower directly. And that's what I did. I tweeted them and I just asked them straight up. I said, listen guys do we have a designated pvp lobby system in the game just asked them a point blank question and i waited until i got a response first and foremost and i did get a response it wasn't a yes but it wasn't a no quite simply we're going to have to wait until next week before we get any more information on that so what conclusion can we draw from this i'm going to tell you they were asked directly are there cops in the game they gave the answer no they were asked the question will there be working reflective side mirrors in the game they answered no 
What I'm getting at here is it seems to me like they have absolutely no qualms in giving us the negative responses, if that makes sense, which is good. That's a good thing. At the end of the day, like I said at the beginning of the video, you just want to know where you stand before you buy the game. So going by that consistent pattern of answering, if there was not going to be PvP in the game, there's a fair argument here to say they would have just come out and said, no, you know, keeping that same energy, remaining consistent. I'm not sitting here saying to you that there is going to be a PvP element in the crew too, but at the same time, what I'm also saying to you is that if there wasn't going to be, I'm pretty certain they would have just said no. I think what we need to do is just sit back and wait until their announcement next week for further details and for more information. Maybe they've got something big planned, or maybe it's a thing whereby they're going to push the PvP element back a little bit. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just speculating now. I don't want to put any more speculation out because there's already enough confusion going on around the internet about this already. And I'm very, very aware that my video has obviously confused a lot of people, even confused myself. So sincerest apologies for that. I am going to be changing the title, uh, the title of it and whatnot. So sincerest apologies. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to basically touch base with you guys because I know that this is something that is going to get pretty, pretty big in the next couple of days, probably the next 24 hours. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys the information that the fact that I have spoken to Ivory Tower directly, I have got an answer back from them. And the answer is to just wait until next week. Let's see what it is they have to say, see what it is they're looking to reveal. And hopefully that PVP element is going to be available at launch. But anyway, guys, that is just about it. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this video. Once again, I sincerely apologize if the first video I put out caused any confusion whatsoever. It wasn't intentional. As I said, I was going off of the information that I was being given directly from one of the developers during the actual event itself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know in the comments whether or not you guys have signed up for the beta, man, and what platform you're going to be playing on. I'm very much aware that there were problems earlier on throughout the day uh, with beta codes and whatnot. I know some of you guys were having issues on the PlayStation side of things there were some people having issues on the um, PC side of things I was actually one of the people affected on the PC side of things but thankfully they managed to get it sorted out check your inboxes check your emails see whether or not you've uh, had your confirmations because they're still sending the confirmations out but anyway in the meantime I will see you guys when the next video comes out take it easy peace